Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This was not a planned design. I was sorting through my glitters. Um, I've still got a load I have not used and I was looking through some of them and I really like the look of this one called Glit... Um, it's called Willy Wonka from Glitter Stella. So I thought, you know what? Quite fancy that. I'm going to give it a go. Now we all know that I really like green and green and purple for some reason is only ever used at Halloween time. I think that's a little bit unfair to be honest because it's not a bad combo. You could use it as pastels or you know as here I'm using the darkest one. well not quite the darkest ones but definitely some dark colours. This first colour this is CJP it is called Grasshopper. I believe it's a strength powder. It does when you're using it as a strength powder so um you know, you're working it to build the nail. It, it's it's not a problem. When you're trying to kind of paint with it, you just want a thin wash. The colour really isn't great. And you're going to see what I mean on the middle nail in a moment. Purplicious is the purple that I'm using and it does exactly the same thing. I, I think it's basically because they are strength powders or, or you know, the, the way these powders work, that they are good... Um, yeah, good in that respect, but not so much to kind of paint on. Whereas, you know, when I use the Moira colours, you tend to kind of paint them on more. Um, but they're not strength powders. You have to cap them. They are purely there just to give a bit of colour. Um, so it, it's just the difference in powders. So this nail, I, I only wanted a thin wash because it's going to be a full... Um, nail of the glitter that I'm using because it's fucking awesome <laughs> if I do so, so myself <laughs> so yeah I'm trying not to build it up but I need enough colour underneath and you can kind of see it's a little bit grainy can you can you see that as I'm washing washing that on that sounds wrong but yeah, it's not got the greatest consistency. Um, and like I say, Purplicious, which is the other colour I'm using, it kind of did exactly the same thing. I, And it really caught me off guard the first time I used them. I kind of knew a bit more this time round. Um, so I will be coming in to do a full nail of the Purplicious and you'll see that I'm building the colour up. I thought maybe if I go with smaller beads and just work it more, it might go better, which it did. Um, I was also a little bit concerned of ombreing these two colours together. I was like, mm, I'm not sure about this. But I kind of went with, eh, well, you know what? If it doesn't work, there's always glitter. We're going to do a glitter swoosh on them anyway. So, you know, if in doubt, we'll just whack a load more glitter But actually, the it didn't go too badly at all. I was I was pleasantly surprised. <laughs> oh, these thumb tips really annoy me. Um, I've run out of the size for that thumb, so I brought some more, but they're a different shape. And it was annoying me the fact that I had four, the four fingers were one way and then the thumb was different. I was like, I can't deal with that. So I'm using a slightly smaller thumb one. And also the fact, you know, I'm not going to waste tips just because it doesn't quite fit right. But it does mean I just have to fiddle about with it a bit more. I did look at, because you can buy the tips for this from Glitter Planet. Um... But what they do is they give you a bag of 500, but they're not, not all of those tips are the sizes that you'd use for the practice hand. And I kind of looked at it and went, no, for the cost I'm paying for those, I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. The practice hand, however, I love a lot. Um, I have debated about other practiced hands, but you know what? She does the job. We have a good relationship. She doesn't give me any crap. Does as she's told, you know? Not generally an issue. Think I'll keep her. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. 
I do miss people. I do. I miss the banter that I would have with, you know, one of my friends who sat opposite me and we just, we write the world and we just have a laugh and, you know, it just makes you check in with each other every, you know, three weeks, two to three weeks of just, yeah, just catching up with their world and your world and making something beautiful as well, you know, it, it's it's about the nails, yes, I like creating, I like designing, but I, I love my friends and I, I love my sister, oh, the videos we've made, we have howled, just laughed, how the hell she's ever come out with a complete set is beyond me, because we spend half the time laughing so much, it's a miracle um, that we've managed to create anything by the end of it, but you know what, she's doing really well at doing her own nails, I'm properly chuffed, but yeah, she, I was like, oh, you won't need me anymore, you'll just do your own nails, she's like, no, no, and she's like the rest of us that we love, lo we love our nails, we don't like doing them, yeah, bit like the infill on the set that I've currently got on which was horrific oh the lifting I had was just ridiculous I mean the amount I had to fire back and the time it took me to get rid of it all I could have just soaked it off and done a new set um so what I've done with and like I say it, I'm not a big fan of primerless monomers and yeah, so what I did when I've infilled these again this time is I put primer on. Even though it's a, a primerless liquid, I've put primer on it because, honest to God, I can't be dealing with that. I really can't. I'm not somebody that normally struggles with lifting. Um, I have had this problem before with the one monomer which is the one I'm using from CJP. But at the time I was using a lot of hand sanitizer um, because I was in the office and, you know, so, and a lot of people had said that they were having problems with their nails because of that. So that's what I just thought it was. Um, and then I seemed to go through, through, through a period when I didn't have that issue because, you know, I was working from home a lot more and, you know, I'm in my own surroundings. So I just go wash my hands rather than having to use sanitizer, which is horrible stuff, let's face it. Ugh. God, give me some soap and water any day. Mm. Anywho, that's my moan. Um, but yes, so I've decided to uh, prime them and see how well they do. I think I've said in a previous video, I do want to test out one of their other monomers. Um, I've successfully knackered my brush a little bit. I'm trying to uh, revive it. The joy of children when you're working with acrylics and you just have to suddenly drop everything and go rescue them from whatever it is that they happen to be doing and you come back and your brush is just... Yeah, you can get away with it sometimes but when I've had the heating on quite high and it's like no that's not good um so yeah I am I'm I would kind of want to I really want to test out the CJP big boy brush but it's a size 14 and it frightens me a little bit um they do do one that's a size 12 now normally I go for a size 10 which is the one I've got at the minute but I would say this is a big size 10 compared to the size 10s I was using before so yeah I'm I'm kind of tempted to go for a size 12 I know I know it's a little bit scary mm, but you know if you don't try you don't know right so I have done and as you see on that that finger I was just building it up I was like what else do I say about that really hmm I'm just going to mess around with it a bit more. Okay, so I've kind of sped this bit up because, look, oh, shiny shinies. Oh, yeah, I just thought you might want to all just appreciate that. So I'm going to do a swoosh. And I did my swoosh two ways. So the first way I'm going to do it is I put the clear acrylic down first. 
and then put the glitter in it. I, I chose the biggest bead of clear acrylic. I don't know what the hell I was thinking on that front. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd try both ways and see which one worked better. I actually found that with the glitter swoosh, I preferred picking up the glitter with the small wet bead and then manoeuvring it around. I just think it, it came out with a better swoosh than it did doing it this way. But when I'm doing a full nail, I prefer to put the clear acrylic down first. I'm just coming in now just with a wet bead on top just to kind of not, not cap them, but just make sure all the nooks and crannies are sorted before I come to... Um, do them so here we go so this is the other technique then where and you see how it just flowed on really really easily it, it just it didn't feel as as difficult to do or as painful to do um hmm. anyway i just thought i'd show the two different ways you know mix it up a little bit push that boat out try something new <laughs> Oh, for today's location, by the way, so the whatever day it was, you had the squeaky chair. Today, I'm sat in my my son's bedroom. He has a back bedroom, and so I'm I'm and my bedroom sits at the front, so I get the front view. So today, I decided I'm going to have a view of the back. I know, properly mixing it up, checking out my surroundings, getting a bit of change of scenery. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's quite nice actually because today it snowed a little bit again. So it almost looks like a Christmas card, you know, where the snow is just dotted along everywhere. Uh, my husband's just poked his head through the door to tell me that food is ready. Nom, nom, nom. Not that anybody really wanted to know that, but you know. If you've watched me long enough, you've come to know what you're in for. Do you know what? Sometimes I think maybe I should say something really, really random in a video just to see if people pick up on it because then I can work out how many people actually have the sound on <laughs> when they're watching my videos <laughs> or how many people mute me. Hmm. <laughs> mm, maybe I should try this. I put like, yeah, maybe I should, maybe I should try doing a giveaway and I, I will just put a weird word in a video and people have to, you know, spot the weird word. Although I come up with some quite interesting words anyway, so it might, might cause a few problems that. <laughs> I don't even know how to do giveaways or random number generator thingies. I will figure it out because I did, uh, well, I have said that, you know, when I get to 500, then I will do something. I, I would have worked it out by the time I get to that point. Anywho, so this index finger is going to be a marble. I thought, you know what? We've seen how these colours work as they are. Let's try marbling them together. Um, they don't like being wet beads. I mean, it, it did work. We, we got there. Um, but yeah, it, it, the coverage just wasn't as good. So if in doubt, whack glitter on it. Beautiful. Right. They've all been capped, buffed, this ring finger has got base coat on it, which I have cured. Um, the base coat I used was a 30 second cure. And then I'm going to come in and just put a little water decal on with a peacock. So these water decals are generally used for the tip. And I thought, you know what? You could quite easily reverse that round and use it as a cuff instead. Yeah. I'm just going to cut round and I didn't want to cut round before I stuck it on 
in case I got it wrong. Um, I didn't quite leave enough of a gap. I think I needed another mill at the back, um, which on a person, because you, you need the top coat to seal it in. So you do need a little bit of space there just for that. And then just making sure it's all down nicely. And then I would normally double top coat that I'm I'm running quite low on top coat, so I'm not double top coating um, at the moment. I have more top coat coming just for this particular one. I think there was a couple of sets actually where I was just like, mm, <laughs> maybe not double layer it just because I need to make sure I've got enough to get through my sets. <laughs> and there we go. So that's it for today's design. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I hope you enjoy my waffle at you. And um, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.